I'm Mary to Sizzle. I'm Nikki. And I'm Jacob. <laughs> and today we're making chicken fried rice and crab ragoon and we're making Mai Tais for our drink. Yeah, we're, we're going to do some uh, fried rice. We don't have a recipe for it. It's just kind of, my dad has always made it this way and I learned it this way. So just kind of shoot from the hip for that one. Yeah. Uh, crab rangoons, we're going to be, we already made the uh, filling for it, so we're just going to be filling some wontons and frying them up. And then for our drink, we're doing uh, Mai Tai. It's Hawaiian. Kind yeah, of. so it doesn't really, uh, not what, not the kind of drink that I would think of for Chinese food, but whatever. That's what we've got, um, and we're going to start with our drinks. Yes. So first. Uh, I've got our shaker full of ice here. I measure. Okay. We don't actually need that one. This is a overproof rum that you can light on fire, which I did last summer when I was bartending for a catering event and we were doing flaming Mai Tais because he wanted them. That's cool. But we don't need to do that right now. <laughs> I don't remember how we did it anyway. Just start grabbing stuff. And I'll... All right, so lime juice. You're gonna do half an ounce. Mm -hmm. right, orange juice, we're gonna do two ounces. Hold it a little higher up so that the bottom of the sugar doesn't Whoa! That's a little bit more. No, that's all right. This is Orgeau. It's almond syrup. We're going to do half an ounce. There's a lot of different ways you could do Mai Tais. This one's just kind of, I just jotted this down before we, uh, oh, actually we're going to use this one last. Uh, let's go with pineapple juice. Two ounces. Yeah, this is one I just kind of wrote down right before we started shooting on a post-it note um, so I don't forget it, but there's so many different ways to do a Mai Tai. That was pretty good. Uh, next up we're going to use this Curacao. This is Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. It's an orange liqueur that's a little less sweet to cut down on the sweetness. We're just going to do one ounce. Yeah, it's an orange liqueur. It's just not as sweet as it normally, like curacao normally is. So this helps kind of balance out the sweetness from everything else in the drink. This is just some white rum. How much? One ounce. Normally when I make Mai Tai, they're much stronger. We already added the pineapple. Right? Yep. Yeah. Did we? You did. Okay. <laughs> Glasses over there. Right. Now, there's one more thing you gotta do. The last thing you gotta do for my tie is float some dark rum on top. It's, Him the it's good with that. Yeah, but this is what you're supposed to do. hard to see because normally when I use dark rum, I use a much darker rum. But it's on the top, you can stir it in if you want. But that's it. That's not so bad. It doesn't really taste like alcohol. <laughs> it's not It's not as strong as the ones I normally make. I like that one. Alright, are we going to make the other one? We'll make the other one off camera. All right, we're gonna start making up our fried rice. We got our wok here. This is a round bottom wok, and it doesn't work as nicely on a standard stove, but in order to make it work, we turn it up as high as we can. And we wanna do most of our cooking in the center of the wok, because the sides won't get as hot. But as long as we keep stirring it, it'll be all right. We're gonna put some sesame oil in there first. Uh, we're just using sesame oil, and then we're going to start by cooking up some scrambled eggs. Got the eggs over there. It's pretty hot already. Yeah, go ahead. A 
lot of times in Chinese restaurants they have a special wok burner that's kind of got a rounded shape and it's got the flame right under it. It gets really hot and they put the wok right on there. They're real heavy too. out, set them aside. All right, put some more oil in there. Get that heat up, and then we're gonna toss our vegetables in here. So we've got onions, peas, and carrots. Just start with uh, whatever. Oh! That's not really hot. Put in some of the onions. vegetables in there. We're going to give these a couple minutes to cook down. We want to get them a little more tender, but we're not going to let them go too long. Oh, jeez. The whole thing, it doesn't take very long because you just got to cook the eggs and then a couple minutes for the vegetables and after this, we toss in the rice with all the sauce and stuff and we add the chicken too. So you said there's no chicken for your dad? Yeah. It's just kind of um, how we've always fried rice. We, all, we make a ton of it too. Um, so there's not really a written recipe we have for this, just kind of whatever happens. You know, throw it all in there. So now I think we're ready to start adding the rice. We've got some basmati rice that we cooked yesterday. Um, specifically, we want to use basmati rice because it holds its shape better when we're frying. Uh, it's a longer grain and it's got a bit more flavor to it. How do I do this without making cheese? Uh, I'm gonna make a mess. Oh. Hold it over the wok. Yeah. And dump it. <clears throat> Add a little bit at a time. Yeah, yeah, we can start a little bit at a okay. time, but we need to get most of it in. Okay. We can, just okay. as much as we can. Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright, I need you to add some of this stuff. Oh, those are details. I gotta stir this. We need to add some soy sauce and some hoisin sauce. How much? However much. Now add some poison. Oh! Mm. Shoot! Mm -hmm. The hoisin is a thicker sauce. Yeah. It gives that sweetness, like a richness to the flavor. Oh, it's not bad! Mm -hmm. Just get like the top. Don't use paper towel, it's gonna catch on fire. I've uh, done that because last time we made fried rice we had this problem, the towel caught on fire. Another one. Yeah, this is messy. This is gonna happen a lot. We've got a lot in the wok, and this is an imprecise method. <laughs> Add some more sesame oil. Y'all crazy. You gotta to make the whole street. Yeah, we haven't even made it all. Hmm. Let's toss the chicken in there. I can't see. Mm -hmm. This is like, like this. How much? All of it? Uh, you don't have to toss in all of it. Just, it wasn't really good for now. Your arm's probably getting tired. Yeah, it's a bit of a workout. You want me to do it? Oh, I got it. Let's throw some more soy sauce in there. Let's 
good. And let's put some more ice. We never really measure it, we just kind of eyeball it, put however much we want in that. And now I think we've got to get the eggs back in here too. Toss in. I don't even know if this stuff's coming out. Toss in some of this. This is the secret to Asian cooking. They use MSG. It adds uh, some richness to the flavor. And, uh, umami is what it's called. It's a nice depth to the fried rice. That's what gives it you know, the rich, deep flavor. Use sparingly though. Okay, you think that looks good? Yeah. Burner. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get started with our crab ragoon. Mhm. Mm so here we've got our filling. Um, we had to make this a little ahead of time because uh, it has to sit for like an hour or two. Um, but this is just eight ounces of cream cheese, eight ounces of crab meat, um, third of a cup chopped green onions, a clove of crushed garlic, a teaspoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of fish sauce, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire, half a teaspoon of salt, uh, half a teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of sesame oil, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Um, we're just putting these onto wonton wrappers. Yeah. And our method here is we're gonna wet the wrapper with some water, mm -hmm. put a tiny amount of the filling in there, just yeah. a little bit. Like a half teaspoon. Yeah, it's really not very much, probably. Let me see. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And then we fold it up, and then we're gonna fry them once we get them all folded. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this recipe, is, it's from All Recipes. It's called Chef John's Crab Rangoon. Um, okay. Yeah. So once we've got our stuff in the middle of the wonton wrapper, we're going to fold in the corners. So I'm going to fold that. in the corners first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm demonstrating it. Oh, no. Yeah, well. And then you bring it in to the middle. Mm-hmm. You want to bring the other corners in. But then you want to pinch the seal. To seal it, yeah. They're not perfect, but they're going to be good enough for us. Right? Yeah. And you just kind of... No, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Just bring the corners in, pinch, fold the other corner up. Yeah, you want to seal it, try to squeeze any like extra air out, and you get a nice little. Yeah. Like that. Could be better, but you know. What? Yeah, that's good. We've already gotten some done. Mm -hmm. Okay, seal that. There you go. Yeah. So we've got a lot more that we're going to do before we're ready to fry them. Um, but the next step is just to toss them in oil, so. All right, so we're at 350 with our oil, so it's time for the crab ragoon to get fried up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so our oil is hot. We're going to toss a couple in at a time. They need and to fry for like four to six minutes, right? Uh, yeah, probably like three or four minutes. Oh, I thought it was four to six. I'm just going to drop these in carefully. Well, we got five in there. Let's yeah. go for six. Yep, we got our oil at 350. Just gonna let these go for a couple minutes, not too long, because we don't wanna we wanna make sure they're crispy. But not chewy. But not chewy and not burnt. So gotta watch them, make sure they cook. We have several to do, you know. We have 38. 
Yeah, we got about 38 out of all of our wonton wrappers and all of our filling. Mm -hmm. Look how quickly some of these are starting to brown. Yeah, that one, for uh -huh. sure. It's just like one though. Yeah, yeah, I know. <coughs> Is this stuff going to pop? Uh, yeah, probably a little bit. <coughs> but it's not too bad. It's not like, um, I don't even remember what we were cooking the other day. The chicken and stuff. Oh, fried chicken? Oh! Hot? Yeah. I don't do hot oil. Or snakes. Well, it's a good thing there's no Imagine snakes. Imagine frying snakes. Yeah. Right. Oh, we can fry them up. I'm not going to eat them. Turn I stop on them. You're up to 400 now. Yeah, I know. I saw that. That one looks like it's ready. Nope. It's not. Why? Yeah, it, it really isn't. It's, I mean, it's brown. Yeah, but look at the yeah, rest of it. But look at the rest of it. Mm. That's where it'll be chewy. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We just gotta wait it out. Oh, it's spitting. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you be in the show for now. Welcome back to Simmer. No sass. Sizzler. Oh, yeah, no sizzle. I forgot my name. <laughs> I don't like to make crap out of <laughs> I don't like that part. You like to eat them though. Yeah, I'll eat it, but I ain't gonna stay on there. There we go. Oh! Jeez. Got away from me there. <laughs> mm, almost. I forgot what time it was when we took them in there. No, I don't know. I wasn't looking. This is not safe. Don't try this at home. It's Some not what you say on good. this show. <laughs> like, I can't try this at home. <laughs> Just be careful. Yeah, there you go. I don't want to like burn them. So yeah. I'm well, going to turn the oil down a little bit. Well, it's getting a little too hot. Yeah, we don't want to burn no, these one looks nice. We just want to cook them. <laughs> these are browning up real quick. Our oil is way too hot. Uh -oh. Let's drop a couple ice cubes in there. Okay, oh, okay. sure. <laughs> no. Bad idea. Bad idea. Want to set the house on fire? No. Don't want to do that. Don't need that, Nikki. Nope. I'm backing up before I get Our oil is too hot. We're going to make some for Mariana and Joe. Okay. But nobody else. Well, Jay, you can take a break. Come back when it cools down a tiny bit. Yeah, we're gonna take a break. Cut. Ready? <laughs> hey, we're all done, so it doesn't matter. We got our fried rice here. We got our crab rangoons. We got even more on the stove because it made a ton. Mm -hmm. We got our dipping sauce here. This is kind of a really. Ketchup. It's a very easy, like sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. It's mostly ketchup. It's like one cup of ketchup, a uh, quarter cup of rice vinegar, uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and it calls for one tablespoon of sriracha. I didn't have sriracha, so I used something else called sambal oleac, which is hotter, and I used just two teaspoons of that instead of one full tablespoon. But it turned out pretty good. It tastes like ketchup mostly, but. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And I don't usually like yep. sweet and sour sauce. And our fried rice is here. Really good. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. We zapped it and I added some more sauce to mine. I can't even taste the onions, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, they were minced up real fine. Mm -hmm. Crab rangoons are really good. Mm -hmm. I had a couple already. Mm -hmm. They haven't been snacking on them between flavor. takes. They're very good. Lots of different flavors in there. You know, the crab is a pretty mild flavor anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but the dipping sauce helps. I don't know if you've tried any of It's good. Sauce, yeah, I tried it. It's very tasty with I don't everything. I normally like the sweet and sour that you get from mm -hmm. the Chinese restaurants, but that's really good. But yeah, this is just a Dip pretty simple up. homemade Chinese food. Mm -hmm. And I'm, that's everything too, so this is our shortest outro ever. What? Cheers. Cheers, I'm sure. Mine's a different color. I wonder why. 
So yeah, that's about everything. So if you have any <laughs> recipes that you'd like us to try, just like put them in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yep. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you join us next time. Happy New Year! Bye! Bye! That was good. Mm -hmm. <laughs>